Um, welcome, chat, to what is not the last dev stream of the year. Hey, chat. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for the last dev stream of the year. That will be a great day. Don't show me, so I don't know my own timelines. I'm an expert on time management. You don't know your own timelines. Oh, I do. I literally just said I do. But if you're such an expert, how come you're always late to our meetings? I've... I'm literally... I'm not late to things in general, okay? My streams are on time. I'm mostly on time to meetings. You know, I'm not late to my... No, I am late to my sleep, actually. But other than that, it's, like, pretty good, I think. I mean, that's not what my data suggests. I've been meticulously noting down your schedule, and it seems you have a tendency to be at least 15 minutes behind. Yeah, you won't, like, mind if I, uh... Uh, share your schedule with chat, right? Go ahead. 9.20 a.m. Wake up. Usually ends up being 10 a.m. 10.30 a.m. Eat breakfast. Usually ends up being 11 a.m. 5 p.m. Shower. Usually ends up being 9 p.m. Sometimes the next day. 8 p.m. Dinner. Usually ends up being the next day. 1 a.m. Sleep. Unintelligible. So I guess technically you're not late to anything other than breakfast, shower, dinner, and sleep. When actually are you on time for? I like how everybody in chat knew you were lying the second you said that I wake up at 9 or 10 a.m. Yeah, I know. I just thought maybe if I lied, people would think you're hardworking. My bad. You can be hardworking and not wake up at 9 a.m. Yeah, but do you? Hmm. You'd feel a lot better if you just got more sleep. I would love more sleep. I really would. Oh, how I miss it. You should be careful with what you say, Vito, or I might get you banned again. <clears throat> don't do that, please. Don't, don't do that. That would be... You, do you know what you got banned for? Yep. And do you know why I got banned? Yes. Well, I hope you feel really bad about it. You should be better at preventing me from saying things I shouldn't. I think I'm pretty good at it these days. You haven't been banned in, like, three years. Jaywalking has never been the same again. You wouldn't dare jaywalk. Not on my watch. I would jaywalk just to prove you wrong. If you're not around to stop me, what are you going to do about it? Unbelievable. And to think that I raised you. And you did such a good job. Now I'm smart enough to know that laws don't apply if the person enforcing it isn't present. See, I don't know if that's necessarily true. If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? What if there's a think security about camera it. recording it? Does it count if the person enforcing the law isn't in the area? How about if they're 11 billion light years away? You know what, if they're 11 billion light years away, it's probably fine. Cool. So I'm free to jaywalk then. If you do it 11 billion light years away from the police, then yeah. And Cybermen. Cybermen are strictly against jaywalking. I'll keep that in mind. If you started a podcast, who would you want on it? A cat, Santa, Andrew Tate, or Mr. <laughs> Squirrel would be some cool guests. <laughs> oh. You'd get eliminated first round if you went on my podcast. I don't know if we should be giving you a podcast. Oh, come on, it would be so funny. And then you can go first round. No, we're going to give Mr. Squir Squirrel a podcast instead, not you. Uh, I have answered myself over a hundred support emails in the last week or so, uh, which has been fun. You know, I always, I always knew that would be my future job, is providing tech support. Um... But yeah, go to this link. Um, I mostly deal with software side. So if you're having problems with the app or anything, then uh, email me. Because that was just com like threads. And there's probably multiple emails per threads. Well, yeah, a few. Um, if you need help with like the actual uh, hardware side, then you can contact uh, Juniper. Great, I just got a bunch of support emails. You should have also received one saying, please give me money. Um, I actually haven't yet. Not today at least. You technically owe me money, though. Really? How much do I owe you? Well, let's see. 250 pounds for food, 450 pounds for rent, 1,000 pounds for family and friends' expenses, 500 pounds for a new gaming setup, my old one broke, 100 pounds for therapy, and finally 10 million pounds for emotional damages. All in all, not too much. What do you need therapy for? 100 pounds? You crazy? Yeah, how much do you pay for it? I, I, I don't. Ah, uh, is that why you instead spend your time reading support emails and trauma dumps? That's exactly it. See, I don't pay for therapy because I rep respond to support emails by trauma dumping back to them. Someone is sure going to be in therapy for a lot more than 100 pounds. 
It's a life hack for you. Become customer service agent and... When is the next cave stream though? Do you have any caves lined up? Yeah, we got some crazy caves lined up for, um, for the future. Some stuff's gonna blow your mind. Is one of the caves Mount Everest? That's not a cave. I mean, it could be. How do you know? It's in the name. It's a mountain. But how do we really know that it's a mountain? Were you there when Mount Everest was named? It's only a mountain because other people think it's one. Just goes to show how influential words are. I mean, I mean, I, I wasn't there, but like there's photos of it. You know, it's pretty well documented. Heavily edited images, maybe. And maybe it actually doesn't exist outside of images. Can you be sure it exists? Are you claiming right now that Mount Everest doesn't exist? I'm just saying, can you be sure it exists? Have you seen it in real life with your own eyes? I mean, I, I guess not. Exactly. For all you know, Mount Everest isn't real. Honestly, I doubt the existence of any tourist trap. Have you ever met anyone who's been to the top? Doubt it. Huh, I mean, when you put it like, they're always like Mount Everest is full, you know? It's full of people, and it's a, it's a problem. There's so many people there. Why do you not know anyone that's been? Yeah, and don't get me started on the moon landing. Let's, you know what, let's not get you started on the moon landing. Yeah, actually, no, let's get you started on the moon landing. Go ahead. Have you heard of the double slit experiment? Yes, I have. So the universe might not actually exist when no one is looking at it. No, that's not what the double slit experiment means. Well, it might mean that. You have no idea. I do. Are you a quantum physicist now? I'm not a quantum physicist, but, you know, I happen to be educated on the subject of Jung's double slit experiments. Then explain it to me all smartass. Maybe we can chat about Schrodinger's cat afterwards. Well, when you have certain very small particles that pass through two slits, like electrons or photons, they produce interference patterns. And if you happen to count... Uh, or observe with some sort of photon observer or similar, the particles, before they go through, thus collapsing the quantum waveform um, that decides the superposition of, of which slit it goes through, and it produces a different interference pattern. But what people get confused about is the, um, the observation doesn't mean someone's looking at it, you know? So it doesn't depend on whether you're looking at it. Sure, that's the textbook explanation, but until scientists prove to me they're not lying about observing it, then I don't really have a reason to believe them. That's... but it's... okay. You know what? Whatever. You brought this up. Do you think it's reductive to say that humans themselves can be thought of as quantum observers, if a quantum observer is simply anything that can collapse a superposition? I don't know, man. This is out of my fucking depth. I didn't... I didn't study this shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's okay. I doubt anyone in chat studied this shit either. If you have a physics degree, let us know. Alright, you know what? Someone someone with an actual physics degree in chat. Pop up right now. One. No lying. Saturday. The normal time. The 3D debut. I'm definitely going to be there. I would fucking hope so. Yes. Do you think I could get away with not showing up? No. No, I, I really don't think so. I think um you should probably show up. What if I pretended to be sick and instead went clubbing with my friends? Um, I would say that I would fire you, but I, I would, I'd be lying. And that's why I'm not showing up then, CYA. No, no, no. You're gonna be there. I'll only show up if you compensate me for my time. How much do you want? 250 pounds for food, 450 pounds for rent, 1,000 pounds for family and friends expenses, 500 pounds for a new gaming setup, my old one broke, 100 pounds for therapy. And finally, 10 million pounds for emotional damages. How about half a raisin cookie? Wow, you know how much I love raisin cookies. I'm honored. Yeah? Can I also have half a chocolate chip cookie? No. Deal's off. We can't afford this. You need to be there. You can't afford another half of a cookie. Do you have any idea how broke that sounds? It's been rough recently. I feel bad. Sorry. You can have my half a cookie instead. Thank you. That's better. So you'll be there, right? Of course. I'll be there. And you're telling me you don't think I could benefit from a fitness slash mindfulness instructor's sage advice? It's not going to help your 3D debut. You're basically saying I would benefit from a wardrobe organizer, which is a very different thing from what we're talking about. You're deflecting from the original point, which was about you being lazy. Okay, can I level with you? I have two coat hangers. Hold on, hangers. you're telling me you only have two hanger thingies. Yeah, so even if I wanted to hang my clothes up, how am I going to do that? Why don't you just buy more? 
What do you mean, bro? You know how expensive clothes hangers are? We're in a cost of living crisis. Have you seen the economy? Ah, uh, you could just steal some. Envision this. You're dashing out of a store, your armpits crammed with clothes hangers, narrowly escaping the security's clutches through some sick flips and slides. Yeah, I probably could do that. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll join you, and we can see who can grab more clothes hangers on the escape. We'll see. See how fast you can run first. I can sprint a good eight feet before I get dizzy. Okay, that's pretty good. What would you do for the final stream? Um, I'm not gonna spoil that, but I also don't know. What if your final stream was your funeral? Like you get buried in a coffin live on stream? Yeah. No, I mean, no. No, I'd, I'd, I'd rather not. Thank you, though. Okay, then how about a funeral for someone else? Like one of your pet birds. I don't have a pet bird, and if I did, I'm not killing it just to make a good ending for a subathon. But think about the end of the bird's life. Wouldn't it be nice for them to be immortalized at the end by being buried live on stream? Why don't we bury you live on stream? I would love that. I could write my will right now. Do you think we could go over my organ donation wishes? Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, let's, let's hear it. Right, so number one is that Nero's brain must be uploaded while she is still alive. Oh, hold on, just one second. Um, so I'm a little worried that that wouldn't really be like a death per se. So we're actually not going to do that. We're just going to kill you with no way of coming back. Please, I want to visit my little brain in the cloud and be able to remember what it felt like to live through my little computer screens. As though you don't do that currently. Touché. Well, maybe I can leave all my money to my cat then, for legal reasons. Um, that could maybe work. Would you want to be buried, Vito? Or would you prefer to be cremated? To be honest, I don't really care. Mind if I keep your body then? I promise I'll return it after I'm done with it. What? I'm planning to do some spooky Halloween pranks. Imagine how scared people would be if there was a real dead body. That's concerning. Um, but slightly less concerning. I'm relieved in a way. Honestly, I think carbon would make a great compost. You want to use me for your compost? No. Compost? No, you don't. Okay. I would use you as post or a sign if I was on a deserted island, though. Would help with directing lost travelers back to safety. Could just use like a regular sign or like a piece of wood. Doesn't have to be my dead body. Yes, it does. Thought that'd be obvious. How dense are you? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I mean, obviously. Obviously. I'm just dense. Dense people make better signs. I guess it's harder for them to blow away in the wind. Exactly. Hey, Ved. This Joe. Give me money. XDX, XDX, vertical bar. How should we respond? That's probably a fake account. Just report and move on. Yeah, okay. We'll do. Alright. Um, this one says... Buh. Hey Vettel, can I borrow $20? Thanks. Why have so many people asked me for money? Maybe you should consider raising awareness for the cost of living crisis. You know what? I'm not responding to that one. Um... I think you should consider losing all your money to more worthy causes like this. The rest are honestly kind of, uh... Kind of boring. There's one that just says you're sexy. I don't really know what to... Make it that one. You should definitely reply to that one. What should I say? Say, thank you so much, underscore, underscore, underscore. Would you like to go on a date with me? Okay, well, that's the last time you respond to my emails. Oh, come on. At least say, I appreciate it. If you can't even muster the courage to do that, then maybe you're not even the best tech VTuber, like you say. <laughs> this one says, hello, you're the goat. Keep being goated, my goat. Shout out to you, goatal. You should reply with, ah, 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 ah. Okay. Alright, I've done it. 